that every day in this church we have prayer meetings. We have an early prayer conference call every morning at 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. And the prayer conference bridge number is behind me on the video wall. Please take note. And also the bridge number has changed. Please avail yourself of this prayer conference call. And I know that the Lord will bless you and answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Also, every day in this church at 7 p.m., Monday, Tuesday, Friday, there is a prayer meeting here at 7 p.m. And on Saturday at 6 p.m., please come out and come and pay, pray corporately, even with the brethren. The Lord will answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. At this time, we are going to have our upcoming announcements for this week through the Good News Network. Welcome to Jesus House DC, where hope is restored and potential maximized. Thanks for worshiping with us today. I'm Nancy Lola Cole, and the Good News Network starts now. Tuesday at 7 p.m. as they celebrate the completion of the last Alpha course for the year. It's also a great opportunity to introduce your friends to Alpha and they can also sign up for the next session in January 2017. December 15th is a deadline to enroll for health insurance through the Affordable Care Act program. You can register online or get help in person at a county enrollment center. To find a center near you, visit www.healthcare.gov. You can also contact Sister Rosemary Obenbor at the church office for more details. Our parking agent department is making changes to serve you and help traffic flow better. You'll notice orange delineators on the street to designate three new lanes. The lane next to church is for shuttle or car drop-offs and pickups. The middle lane is for incoming traffic and the lane furthest away from church is for outgoing traffic. Please follow the directional signs and ask a parking agent if you need help. Attention all women, you're invited to an end of the year celebration on December 16th at 6 p.m. Besides the good food and fun, it's a wonderful way to connect with old friends and make new ones. The event is right here at Jesus House DC. I grew up without knowing who my parents were. I remember those days when I would sneak into my room and then I would sit by the laptop that visualized all my illicit imagination. And my hands became the instrument of defilement of his temple. I thought joining them would make me a man. I really wanted to grow up. So I paid attention to the man on the outside and I forgot the man on the inside. I grew old, but I never grew up. And then, my man who I was told to shoot the old wife. I killed them. I see if that was not enough. Two weeks later, I discovered that the people I killed, the people I killed with my aunt, were my parents. My life is a waste. I am doomed. But then I met Christ. show your support to all the participants, especially our talented youth here at Jesus House DC. No matter where you stand politically, I think we can all agree on one thing. We need to pray for unity, peace, and wisdom, especially during this time. Let's also remember that we're the light of the world and to be the example that the world is waiting for. That's it for this week's edition of the Good News Network. Have a blessed week.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Some additional announcements very quickly. Um, walkers, praise the Lord. If you're a walker, praise the Lord. <laughs> 